Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about these gorgeous lipsticks from Givenchy. I've got four to show you and they are brand new from their brand new Le Rouge Sheer Velvet lipstick range. If you're familiar with my channel, you may have seen my MAC lipstick review and try on video. Um, I will link it in the description box if you're interested, but I basically go through the lipsticks, try them on and rate them. I've got four lipsticks to show you today. They are brand new to me, so I haven't actually tried these on before, so it's gonna be like first impressions. So let me know in the comments which one is your favorite as well throughout the video. So the first one I want to show you is the lipstick Beige Nude. Um, and like I said, these are all from the Le Rouge Sheer Velvet collection at Givenchy Beauty. An amazing thing about the range is they all come in this beautiful packaging. As you can see, this is velvet pink packaging, which is lovely with this gorgeous silver tone uh, metal hardware on it as well. It's just so beautiful. I love details like that on luxury lipsticks. And then when you open it, it's really beautiful case and it has this lovely logo detail for Givenchy on the front as well. So I'll try this on now. So this shade is number 10 beige nude and on first impressions it feels so velvety to apply to your lips like I can see where they got the name from from the packaging and the application like the texture of it is really soft and gentle on your lips which I love because I mean you've got to wear this all the time right it needs to be comfortable this tone is just so pretty I think it's rather natural um, but it's sort of like a glow up of your usual lip color so it's a little bit pinker and darker than my usual lip color but I really like it um, it's very pretty and elegant and I think it's really wearable I'll just zoom in so you can see it close up so this is the lipstick close up and I think I could see myself wearing this almost every day I think it looks really pretty probably give this like a seven or an eight maybe an eight I'm feeling generous an eight okay so now I've removed that one um, we're now going into more like red rouge darker colors territory which is exciting um, I'm gonna start with this one which is number 34 rouge saffron yeah this lipstick looks so stunning very Hollywood glamour I can imagine feeling like pretty damn glamorous when I'm wearing this I'm gonna apply all of these lipsticks without lip liner by the way because I don't want to um, enhance them in any way I just want to show you what they are genuinely like on their own So here it is, Rouge Saffron, number 34. It's actually more sort of on the orangey side of red than I expected. I thought it'd be more of a berry red, um, but this has more of an orangey tone, which is really pretty and subtle. Uh, the pigmentation is really good, but I would say that it's more of like a buildable color. It definitely gets richer the more you apply it, and it's not like a one coat thing, in my opinion. I probably would give this one a rating of mm, seven. I think it's really pretty, but it's not, for me, it's not wearable every day, which I often give points for. Let me know what you think of these lipsticks as we go through as well in the comments. By the way, the product I'm using to take off my lipsticks in between takes is the Sensitive Micellar Water or Micellar Cleanser by Neil's Yard Remedies. This is so gentle on my skin and it works really well. As you can see, I've just applied really dark red lipstick and it's come off so easily. It's just hassle-free, like really easy to use. And I just apply a little bit to a uh, washable, reusable pad from Garnier. I will link it all in the description box as well, but they're really good. You can wash them so you're not like buying cotton pads all the time. It's a little bit more eco-friendly, which I like, and it's very soft too. Next up, I'm going to go for number 27, which is Rouge Infuse. Again, it's another sort of darker lipstick, um, which is so pretty. And here we have it, number 27, Rouge Infuse. I think this one is less 
uh, bright and bold than the previous lipstick. This one is more of a softer, glamorous red. But by the way, these are all matte lipsticks and they're actually described as blurring matte, vibrant colour. Um, so that kind of is the perfect way to describe them in four words. But these are also refillable, uh, so when you run out you can use the original case and just get it refilled. And you can also even change up the casing, so there's other cases available. If you didn't like the pink, you simply take this off, you can buy a new case um, and then switch it up or switch it up between your lipsticks. For example, I've got an old one here, uh, which is a red velvet case. So I literally just swap the two. So it's like a lipstick, but the perfect accessory as well. Um, and if you're a fashionista like me, you'll love little details like that because it just means you can style your lipstick like you style yourself. What more could you want? I do think this one is slightly more wearable than the last one, so I'm gonna rate it as a 7.5. Last but not least, we have the last lipstick to show you, and this is gonna be embarrassing at how I'm gonna pronounce this, so I apologize in advance for getting this wrong. This is number 36, and it's called Linterdit. Um, I'm not sure how you say it. If you know how to pronounce it, please let me know in the comments. But as you can see by the close-up, this is already, I can tell, it's going to be a very bold, very striking, very powerful, glamorous red. And to be honest, this is probably everything I look for in a red lipstick. I'd probably rate this lipstick an 8 out of 10 because I think when I think of a red lipstick this epitomises the iconic red that I would want to wear and look for um, and I just think this will go with a lot of amazing outfits, a lot of occasions that you could wear it to. It just looks really pretty and it feels so comfortable on. I don't think it's going to rub off easily which is really good. So my loves that is it for today's video. That's all four lipsticks. I hope you like them. Let me know which one you like best in the comments. I think my favourite is either this one or the first one I showed you, the beige nude. Um, I like that one as well. If you want to see more videos of this kind then do give me a thumbs up because then I'll know you like it for sure and I'll definitely make some in the future. Equally, if you can think of lipsticks you want me to review or try on then let me know. Maybe Dior, uh, more MAC, Givenchy, Charlotte Tilbury, anything you can think of. Thank you for watching today's video and I hope you enjoyed it and do subscribe to my channel for more fashion, beauty, home content. See you again soon. Bye bye.